everyone, welcome to your pick a card reading. First of all, thank you so much for being here and for being on my channel. Today we are going to be doing a reading for all you singles out there, me included. <laughs> so what I want you guys to do is to pick a group, pick either group number one, two or three. As you can see, we've got a whole rose quartz amethyst theme going on. Uh, these three are the normal crystals I use, so if it's a bit overwhelming with the pink and the purple, but I just wanted to do a bit, bit of a uh, cute love looking kind of spread. So please pick from group number one, two or three. I, ho I hope these crystals are helping you. Um, I like to mix it up. Sometimes I use crystals and sometimes I don't. So please pick a group and we'll get started on what you need to know for your love life of being single. Group number one. This is your guys' reading. Uh, so let's get started. So first you got the amethyst, which is a gorgeous crystal. I love amethyst and rose quartz, as you can tell. <laughs> what is coming up for you guys in your single life? So first we got the overall energy is the page of cups. Interesting, love that for you. You also got the feeling safe. Wait, this is over here, yep. Feeling safe, raising your standards positive expectations and the overall energy is don't be misled so the first thing what came up with the page of cups is i feel like someone is coming in to offer you a love uh, a love is coming in to offer you love and because you've been raising your standards and you've been focusing on your mental health and feeling safe within yourself that these positive expectations are coming in because you're almost like you're reaching out for it and you're almost holding your hand out for someone to place this opportunity in your hands. So it's almost like you've released a lot of negativity and a lot of boundaries, like negative negative um, walls in front of you. And it's these things that have stopped you before in meeting new people or meeting new friends, um, they're all gone now. So all these um, boundaries you've been putting up are, have been really, really good in setting the stone for what setting in stone for what you are going towards so sorry that sounds a bit scattered i'm just trying to get my words right words are not happening today so as i said with this this one is really standing out to me and i feel like you've gone in a really dark place and you've come out and you're almost opening yourself up like this gorgeous butterfly and it's almost i feel like it's lovely colorful stretching open energy and it's almost like you're, you're open to receive and you're almost just flowing with whatever is going on. And as I say, you are you are safe. Um, if you're feeling unsafe, just know that you are safe. And all these things that you've been doing to feel calm within yourself, feel centered in yourself, is all working out for the best. And what is coming up for me is when it says don't be misled, I really feel like, I actually don't feel like you're gonna have a problem with figuring out who you want to be with um, in terms of a partner. And this also connects to friendships as well. I feel like because you have gone through such a big journey, you are very aware of pe new people that come in. And because you, I feel like you've been messed around quite a bit by previous partners, previous friendships, that you are very aware of other people's behavior and you've almost got this radar and I can relate very heavily to this reading, actually. You've got this radar, and it's almost like if anyone steps over a boundary or does not does something that you're not very fond of or very happy with, you will automatically think, okay, is this person meant for me? Is this person giving me good energy? Are they helping me in my life? And if not, then they're just going to be gone already. And that's, that is amazing. I'm feeling a lot of emotions are flowing very, very easily. And there's going to be someone who's going to stand in in your. There's going to be someone coming in in your life very soon. Um, I'll have a look at when in a minute. Um, it's going to be coming in very soon. Very emotionally aware. I feel like they could be very. Like it could always also be a water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scor uh, Scorpio. But they could also be very emotionally aware anyway. But they're not even aware of that they're emotionally aware. <laughs> Does that make sense? So. They have all these emotions and they know what they mean, but they've never really expressed it out loud. So they've got this almost like internal kind of, I feel like it's washing machine kind of going around. And it's almost like a controlled, yeah, a controlled environment in their head. It's like a, lo a lovely, like safe space. And 
they use this to engage in their life, but nobody actually knows about it. And that, that's really strange. I'm getting a lot of really interesting uh, images in this reading. Um, I feel like this is extremely new energy. I'm feeling like very new, very, I feel like the image of like new soft skin. So like very new energy, like almost a new baby coming in. And it's not like, I'm, I'm not feeling a pregnancy, but I'm feeling like a new baby, like a newborn energy is coming in and it's almost being given to you and I'm having this like this thing with my hands so I'm feeling like you are being given this new energy it's almost like and you're just holding it and receiving it, it feels like an egg it feels like you're being given an egg and it's almost just it's coming out everything's coming out of this egg and it's all beautiful and all all beautiful colors I feel like these colors here are very accurate to what's going on it's almost it's just so pretty I'm always seeing all these pastel colors so I'm going to read from this card just to give you a bit of clarification on don't be misled. It says, when fear speaks, it's always wrong. Unless being chased by a wild, uh, sorry, unless being chased by a wildebeest. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Game on the universe. So what this is saying is that when fear comes in, don't let it come in, basically. Anything that's fear-based is not for your highest good. It's not going to benefit you in the, in the overall in your overall life basically and you have you are safe i feel like you have this really good concrete foundation now and i feel like it hasn't always been there and this is coming in really strong that there's like you know when uh say when you're putting on armor and you have those pads that kind of go on your shoulder and you feel almost weighed down when when people have been put like put armor on i'm feeling like your shoulder pads i feel like this grounding weighing down is really, really good for you at the moment. This solid, this solid foundation is being built and is, is, do you know what, actually, this solid foundation, I feel like it's already built within you now. It's taken a long time, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like it's over the last seven, seven to 10 years is what's been going on. And I'm feeling like the color of a rainbow is coming through very, very strongly. So I'm feeling like all this storminess, all this rain, all this kind of nasty weather, in terms of emotions has been it's just been so destructive I'm, I'm getting like like lightning kind of storms and everything that's been what you've been going through the last seven to ten years and now it's almost like it's just so clean i feel like it's really beautiful flowing energy so in terms of a partner there is someone coming in for you and i feel like they're going to flow in really really nicely there's not going to be any forcing there's not going to be anything that's gonna you're gonna have to do to get to this partner if you feel an urge to do something then please do it um, because you never know what, where that's going to lead. Um, but also, don't be... I'm not going to say don't be desperate, because that's that's very uh, aggressive. But don't be... Yeah, don't be forceful with whatever's going to happen. And just be on your guard, basically. But I don't, I don't feel like you actually need to be on your guard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a number as to when you're going to meet this person. I actually feel like some of you already met this person already. He's very... Uh, this person, um, male or female very strong very grounded i feel like they're very they're almost matching your energy now you're now you're in a grounded position um this person is matching your energy and you two are getting on extremely well i'm seeing like a castle with the moat around it and i'm feeling like you're the you're the castle in the middle and the, your partner is the person circling around you and it's almost like the energy is just flowing really nicely and the emotions are flying really nicely as well. So how long is it going to take? Okay, well, that's really interesting because this is quite an intense card. So we've got the Nine of Swords. And this is a very unhappy card. I don't feel like this is actually accurate to your reading. I don't feel like these, this emotion is you. I feel like this was in the past, if anything. This was in the past. And Nine of Swords, I think... I feel like nine months. But I don't actually feel like this is in the future. This is in the past. Yeah, like nine months ago, something happened that triggered you to meet this person, triggered you to change and meet this person. I don't feel like this change was sudden, though. It might have been a sudden realisation, but yeah. Okay, so let's pull one more because this reading is going to be so long otherwise. Right, how long is it going to take for these? For group number one, how long does it take? Ugh. How long is it going to take for group number one to meet their partner? Death. Oh my god, that is so interesting. I actually love this card. Because the universe is telling me 
that you've gone through a transformation and I feel like you actually don't, I feel like they're not gonna tell me how long it's gonna take because you're already in the flow and I'm not getting a certain number. So I feel like you have actually met this person. This person is already in your life or they're just, they're just gonna flow in and there's no reason for you to know the number, which is so strange, I know, but. Okay, so we've got the swords again. So we've got the four of swords. So this could be four days, four weeks, four months. Uh, as I say, this might not be accurate to you. I'm feeling like a lot of you are already in the flow and you don't actually need to know the how, how long it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, just getting a general relaxed energy over this. Um, as I say, this is to do with the number, not to do with um, the actual representation of what this is. So as I say, four days, four weeks, four months, um, if you guys do wanna know how long it's gonna take. Um, yeah, so I really hope this uh, helped you. And if it didn't resonate with you, that's absolutely fine. Feel free to pick another group. Or if not, maybe this uh, message just wasn't for you or maybe pick out messages that did resonate with you. If it did resonate, please comment down below. I absolutely love reading your comments. It makes my day. Um, please subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here and let's start your reading. So you've got rose quartz. Gorgeous, gorgeous stone, love to do with love and just flow and anything. Just It's just an overall gorgeous crystal. So let's see what you guys got. So overall, so overall you've got the 10 of pentacles and then you got stand your ground, moving forward fearlessly, gorgeous, love that. Creative expression and there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. That is so nice, I love that. That just makes me feel so, I feel like this is such confirmation. I feel like you really need this. Um, and what I'm feeling is, especially with the 10 of pentacles, is that money is gonna flow in for you so nicely. And what I'm getting is, is I feel like you're building a new foundation for a new job. Um, or you're building a foundation in a job that you've already started. And there is a lot of opportunities for you to move forward. But I'm not entirely sure if this is the right job for you. So what I'm feeling is, there needs to be a bit more creative expression in your life. Um, either there's lacking creative expression or you need to focus more on your creative expression. So what I'm getting is, actually scratch that. So I can see you painting and I can see you using a lot of colors and crystals and things like that. So what I'm feeling is there's either been a lack of creative expression in your life recently or creative expression is gonna, is gonna, is gonna flow for you in the next few weeks. So to do with a partner, I'm feeling the photography is very um, interesting for you, which is really funny because I feel like this reading is very accurate for me as well. And I feel like group number one was very accurate for me as well, which is really strange. Yeah, I'm getting like industries. So what I'm feeling is you could be interested in photography. You could be interested in um, TV, films, that sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure why that came up. But I feel like for a specific industry, that was pretty accurate. I'm getting like cameras, photos, stuff like that. So you could meet somebody when you are developing photographs. It could be when you're taking photographs. It could be when you're painting. It could be a painting class, photography class. Anything to do with creative expression is going to connect you to this person. You could meet them. You could, t you could meet them at like a hobby and like a class. Or you could um, like bond over a certain film or a bond over a certain TV show. Like interests, I feel like is very, very important. So in terms of meeting this person, let's just have a little bit more clarification. Um, so in this reading, I'm seeing that this person is an earth sign. Um, or actually, do you know what? I'm feeling earth, fire and air, specifically all of the earth signs, uh, fire signs, specifically Aries, and water signs, Cancerian. So 
what I'm getting. Also, this person could have ginger hair or brown hair. And yeah, either tan skin or pale skin. So, let's have a look. Where are we going to meet this person? Where is group number two going to meet this person? Be honest with yourself. Right. Okay. So, definitely to meet this person, you need to be honest with your feelings and figure out what it is that sets your heart on fire. What is something that sets your soul alight and makes you feel alive? I know it's very dramatically put, but that is what I'm getting. This gorgeous yellow energy is so... My phone just went off. Maybe that's confirmation. Um, this gorgeous energy were to do with... Oh, it's turned my phone off. So this gorgeous energy, this like... This golden energy is so beautiful. I feel like you are radiating this energy and you're almost just coming out of this, this shell that has been constricting you for a long time. And there's going to be an... I feel like there's a job or a hobby that you're already doing or you're going to be doing and that's going to meet this person. And once you meet them, you need to make sure that you're being honest with yourself that this relationship is going to suit you. And it's not just because it's come in and it's something it's someone to focus on it's, and it's just like okay i'm just going to take this person because they're here um it's it's deciding that this person is right for you and is suitable for you and it's not compromising on just because they're here so i'm feeling the need to draw this get this card out again uh, there isn't a soul on this planet who doesn't crave your approval so what i'm feeling is is as a child i feel like you had a lot of trouble deciding on I feel like as a child you had trouble deciding on your discoveries. I'm not sure what that means. It let's have a listen. What does that mean? You had trouble finding your feet, finding your ground when you were younger. And this has been going through into your relationships where you used to, I say used to now, used to seek approval from outer sources. And this could be to do with people online. This could be to do with uh, partners. But now you have decided to be more honest with yourself. And this is very recently, I'm feeling in the last two months, two weeks, that you have decided that you are an extremely important person and you are, whoever's, read, whoever's watching this video right now, and that you have a lot of potential to go far. And I feel like that in previous relationships and friendships that has just been your all your power has just been given away and now recently as i said in the last two weeks two months you're bringing that energy back in and you're discovering who you are and this is very similar to the previous reading actually i feel like we've just gone more a different path that i got this energy this image of an egg and it was being held in my hands and it's just been cracked open and it's just opening now and it's a new a new creation of something so what i'm feeling is when you meet this person they're going to be someone who is going to make you look inside yourself and is going to help you to figure out the path that you're on and once you know once you feel comfortable in yourself and you appreciate the body that you're in and you appreciate the way you look that is when this person is going to come in and this is when this person this is so similar to the first reading because i'm getting a, a color like a image of a rainbow again so it's almost like you're reaching out for this person right now and i feel like with the image of a rainbow every time someone sees a rainbow well most of the time <laughs> most of the time when people see a rainbow they just relax and they just appreciate the rainbow for like what it is and I know it sounds a bit strange, but the colours of, of a rainbow is so like, is so many different layers because they're all different colours. And um, I know I really hope it's making sense. So basically, when you see a rainbow, you don't judge it. You don't point out, oh, it could. Why aren't the colours brighter? And um, why is it so far away? And why can't I just reach this rainbow? I don't know. But it's like you need to appreciate 
who you are to appreciate somebody else for who they are. And it's like not not looking at the flaws, not looking at um not looking at the outer shell, it's looking at what's inside as well. So I feel like this is not very, it's not like you're judging the person on the way they look, but it's just appreciating them for who they are and leaving them to her the way they are and, and they're leaving you to the way you are. And you're appreciating each other on a level that you're neither of you are judging each other. That's what I was getting at. Sorry that was long-winded, but <laughs> I feel like that's to do with your creative expression as well. I feel like you need to cr create colour in your life. And this could, as I said, this could do with painting, this could be do with, um, I'm getting like nail polish, makeup, textures, like anything like colourful is going to really help you. And this could be in the, the smallest thing. This could be even like sprucing up your desk at work and making it more colourful. It could be wearing more colours. It could be um, wearing colourful jewellery and that sort of thing. So I feel like this is very accurate to this card as well because um, it's it's got some really, really lovely colours. It's got the the greens for like the groundedness and then you've got the blue for the like the earthy or like the sorry the watery emotion so as i say there isn't a soul on the planet there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval which is absolutely gorgeous so the only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow ho <laughs> the universe so what i'm feeling is that you are, I feel like, a new seed and you're growing into this gorgeous person. And it's like, this self-discovery is gonna, you're gonna discover somebody through the self-discovery. I know this was very vague and I apologize, it just was very vague, but these are the information that is coming through. And as I said, through this self-discovery, you are going to stand your ground and you're figuring out who you are. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy coming through, all positive, absolutely love it. Uh, as I said, very similar to the first reading. So if you would like to go watch and listen to that, you can also do that. I feel like this is connected to this one as well. So I'm just going to look for how long it's going to take you to meet this person and or if you've already met this person. So, well, there's a lot of options going on. So you have the six, seven of cups. So I feel like you can meet this person in a week. I feel like you've already met them a week ago. Or you can meet them in a week to seven months. But this is also really similar to the last reading. I feel like this could be in the past, as in like seven months ago, I feel like you could be start rediscovering yourself and that's going to lead you on to all these different people. So in the next seven days to seven months, you're going to meet a lot of interesting people. And one of these people is going to be your partner. And it's like you're gonna have to decide who you want to meet with and who you want to decide is who is going to be your main partner and I feel like all these other people are going to be people you're going to meet whether they're friends or they're to do with partners um it's almost like you're testing people out and they've all got all these different personalities but it's like there's one person that's really going to shine out to you um so yeah let's can we do one more just to clarify this seven of cups um got the queen of pentacles so yeah as overall this energy is absolutely gorgeous we've got some really strong grounded foundations going on and whatever you're doing you are doing it really well and i'm getting the um sign of aries i feel like this is you cha channeling this aries energy very powerful fiery and you're also i feel like you're almost like a magnet at the moment you're like a se uh, like a sexy magnet that's <laughs> doesn't really sound very nice to say sexy magnet but you're like, a, like you've got this really lovely, sexy kind of beautiful energy around you and it's drawing people in. And these are all the people that is going to be drawn in through this gorgeous grounded energy. So thank you for watching. If this resonated with you, please comment down below. Um, I would love to hear from you. I love your comments so, so much. Honestly, it makes my day. If you would like to, please subscribe. I'm, I'm the Crystal Girl. And thank you for being here. If you'd like a private reading, I'm doing private readings. Please look down in the description below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Hello, group number three. Thank you for being here. Um, also, just let you know, I'm doing private readings. So if you would like to get one of those then all the information will be in the description down below and yeah so let's get started with your reading so you have the clear quartz which is beautiful 
Uh, so let's see what the overall energy is. You have two cards, which are the overall energy. You've got the sun, gorgeous, and you've got the five of pentacles. Okay, love that for you. So let's see what's going on with you. We've got kick up your heels, new opportunity. Um, and parenting and children. Lovely, that's that's beautiful. Um, you've also got the card forgive. So what I'm feeling for you is, I'm feeling like you're tying yourself down with a lot of emotions at the moment. And I'm feeling like this, this could be like almost like a roller coaster at the moment. Some days feel heavier than others is what I'm getting, is the overall energy for this. And to do with a partner, this, I feel like you're working through some quite intense energy at the moment and I can see it flowing. I can see it coming out and it flowing nicely for you. And with the sun over the new opportunity is that there's going to be a new opportunity coming towards you that's going to really suit you and it's going to come in quite quickly. I'm feeling in the next three, three weeks, three months. Um, and this is going to be something that's going to help you to shine and to get to be noticed and I'm getting the image of you sitting down and almost waiting for like like almost like sitting at a bus stop and waiting for the bus to come in so I feel like you have been waiting for a long time for this opportunity to come in for this person to come in and whatever this new opportunity is this new opportunity I feel like is to do with work and a relationship so you could actually meet this person at work and I feel like you need to have a really good time at the moment. I feel like you've been quite down. I'm not I'm not feeling too intense energies. I feel like intense energies, but a very short amount of time. So I feel like you've been feeling quite intense and down and then it's quickly gone and then you, you felt better and then it's kind of gone intense and sad and then it's got better again. And this shift in energy is quite frequent at the moment anyway, just with the how the energies are at the moment. <clears throat> a lot of people are feeling it. So whoever this person is, is going to be someone who I feel like you already have children or they already have children or you're going to have children together. And with Kick Up Your Heels, I feel like you're going to be with someone who makes you feel so alive and really happy and very easy. It's going to be an easygoing relationship. And I feel like you need to get out more. Um, and that could be to do with expressing yourself just just being who you are and there's I'm getting the image that there's no sorry I'm getting the message that there's no reason to block yourself from who you are because the more you do that the more you're going to push away this new partner so a lot of this is to do with your energy and this kick up your heels is as I say do things that make you happy, even if it's like really funny, like little things that you think, oh, if, if somebody knew I did, if somebody knew I did that or somebody knew I watched that type of video, they think I'm weird because it's so, so unusual. But this is the sort of things like little quirky things I'm feeling is very important to you. Um, reading and novels and stories is something quite prominent here. And I'm feeling like you have been reading a new book or you've been watching a new film or you've been getting messages through books and films that have been almost like an idea of what you want your life to be like. And this is a very positive thing. I'm not feeling that this is a fantasy kind of like, oh, you've got your head in the clouds, it's a waste of time. I feel like this is very positive for you. You're almost mapping out what you want your life to be like. And so let's just see if there's any more messages coming through for this new partner. So for group number three, any messages to do with a new partner? I'm feeling like you could meet this person outdoors in nature you could be working on a nature reserve you could be uh, even meet this person in like a garden center somewhere where there's like a greenhouse a lot of greenery i'm seeing uh, environmental awareness yes that is exactly the card that i was thinking of because this is so to do with um animals um the earth flowers plants yes Thank you for that. I'm really, I'm really happy that this came out because this is exactly what I was thinking of. Um, I feel like you're actually becoming aware of your environment and you are, as I said, mapping out um, all the points of what you want to happen. And this is going to come in very soon. I'm actually feeling four weeks. 
can't remember what I said earlier. Did I say three weeks? I can't remember. Four weeks. Yes, 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 yes. Four weeks. Um, could even be as soon as four days. Let's have another card, please. Where is group number three going to meet this person? I'm feeling maybe at a club as well. Somewhere where there's a lot of people. Positive expectations. Funnily enough, this artwork is very similar to parenting and children. So I feel like you have very, you have very positive um, thoughts to do with children. I feel like you are very um, nurturing um, towards children or animals. And this is going to be something to do with your partner. Uh, they could be um, in, uh, like an, they could be working with animals. You could be working with animals. You could start a new job where you're working with animals. Anything to do with the environment um, and doing something you love is going to bring you towards this person. And as I said, I feel like maybe they could be a carer or like someone who works in a nursery. And yeah, and you could see this person, maybe you're a mum or a dad. And you could see them, see this, like, maybe this, like, teacher or carer with your child, like, a nursery or something. And you could think, wow, this person is amazing. They're single. I want to kind of see where this goes. So if not, um, as I say, you could meet this person when you're out walking a dog. You could be walking. You could be out in the woods and then you could see them. Do you know what? Endless possibilities to do with anything to do with nurturing and nature, animals, children. That sort of thing is I'm getting is a nice whole I'm getting a nice wholeness for this reading. So I'm getting a very mature energy as well. So I'm feeling like um, you are very mature or you are in between 20s and 30s and you are definitely ready to settle down. That's for sure. I'm definitely getting this like I'm so ready to settle down. Whereas my partner, they are coming and they are very um, grounded and very soft. And I'm not saying soft as in like weak. I'm saying soft as in... Um, they're very open to a new relationship with you. So let's get one more card, just an overall clarification. Any numbers, anything that we need to know to do with group number three. Please actually, please clarify environmental awareness. Just give me a bit more clarification on what's going on here. I'm getting the image of sweet as well. I'm not sure what that is. I'm thinking maybe the person is quite sweet, <laughs> very sweet. Uh, almost like sickly sweet to the point that it might even put you off but then it almost must be it after a while it will be like oh my god this is actually really nice I like all I like all this sweetness I feel like it might be quite I feel like it might be quite unusual for you to actually have that I feel like this person's going to compliment you quite a lot as well the empress yep so this is you standing in your ground and just being this beautiful person um, I feel like this could also be how you see this partner coming in as this gorgeous, like, um, radiating, just whole, complete person. And I feel like there's just going to be two complete people and they're just going to come through, come together really nice. You're complete and they're complete and you're just to, going to come together really nicely. All it is, is about timing. That's what I'm getting is it's all in, all in the timing and it's all just you you've got to wait for it basically and but it's going to come in at the right time for you so thank you so so much for watching as i said i'm doing personal readings if you would like one please um look in the description below you can contact me via my instagram direct message or you can just email me at victoria here to inspire thank you so so much for watching if this resonated please comment down below and if you'd like to please subscribe my name is the crystal girl thank you so so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you and i will see you all in my next video bye